Good evening, friends. It is September 23rd, and it is time for Wednesday Connections. During this time of COVID, one of the many small group experiences I've been enjoying is I meet with a group of ladies once a month that um, we pick a book. It's called our it's a book group. Um, this Just this past week, we met and we talked about a book that we had just read by Timothy Egan, and it's entitled A Pilgrimage to Eternity. Um, it's one of those books that just kind of sticks with me because... Um, it talks a lot about our spiritual journey, and even though he didn't write this book during this time of COVID, I have experienced this time of being away from all of you physically um, as a part of a pilgrimage for my own my own um, spiritual journey. So it's been it's been quite it was quite an impactful book. Again, it's Timothy Egan. He, Timothy Egan is the one who. Um, I think it's called the Big Burn that he, which wasn't too long ago that that came out, and that was at Mount Baker Theater. Even he came there and spoke, and I was able to to go to that. So he's really a, a really well known writer and a really good one. But his when he spoke about his pilgrimage to eternity, it just um, he was going from Canterbury to Rome. Um, each step of the way was very impactful and, and really powerful for me as I was reading that story. It's, he said several one-liners in this book that were just, just really something. He talked a lot about trying to be a pilgrim, kind of putting your mind into a pilgrim mode, which is not an easy thing to do for people like me who's constantly doing things and... Um, oftentimes leading things and so being a pilgrim is a whole nother thing so he talked about that a lot and how that's kind of difficult but one thing one phrase that he said in the book that really stuck with me he said malnutrition malnutrition of the soul is a plague of modern life and I think that's something during this time um, of so much unrest in the world so much that seems unsettled and seems just absolutely out of the ordinary, whatever ordinary is, um, that malnutrition of the soul is really showing up and really impacting many lives. So that really, that really spoke to me, the malnutrition of the soul is a plague of modern life. I tell you all of this because one of the reasons I love this book so much is I, as I have mentioned before, I just completed the two-year academy for spiritual formation, um, and we, and in our our final time together, we were asked to do a final project that would kind of represent um, where we are in our spiritual journey and what what um, maybe the academy had meant to, meant to us. So I chose, particularly because COVID was happening at that point when we were making these projects happen, I I chose to make a, a small movie and set it to the spiritual pilgrimage of sailing in the San Juan Islands and hiking in the San Juan Islands um, and sailing the Salish Sea. And so it's, um, and I chose one of my very favorite hymns, and it's called Spirit, Spirit of Gentleness, to play in the background, as I have chosen some of my favorite pictures of what I would call my pilgrim, my pilgrim time, being a pilgrim on the islands and on the waters in our sailboat. So, um, I, so I decided tonight to just simply play that for you in hopes that it does speak to you. And I also invite you to take that hymn, Spirit of Gentleness, and allow it to seep into your own soul and it to feed you. It is one of my favorites. And it's one that I think just blows the Spirit of God into our lives in deep and meaningful ways. So I invite you to enjoy this short video that I made for my final project for the Two Year Academy. And I hope that you can get a glimpse of that spiritual pilgrimage I have, in, I have in, encountered while sailing the Salish Sea and hiking in the San Juan Islands. We'll see you again soon. I really do miss you. Enjoy this video.
speak.